Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in another episode of DNA Saturday, which is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in DNA bombs. That was the great class we're actually going to be using throughout the entirety of this gameplay. If you guys like to go back and pause it to get a good look at the class, you guys can do that, but keep in mind I will be periodically talking about the Cray class throughout this video. This week's episodes of DNA Saturday are freaking awesome. So the first one that was sent in here was sent in by a guy named Swoosh, who is actually a returning guest. Uh, he was actually featured once or twice on Chemstrike Saturday last year with Call of Duty Ghosts. He's making a return here on my channel with DNA Saturday with Advanced Warfare. It's definitely awesome to see these returning guests that have been on the channel, you know, so many months in the past and see them actually come back like this. It's actually awesome. I love when that happens. The episodes of DNA Saturday this week are fantastic. Like the title says in this video, this DNA bomb is unique in the fact that he basically switches weapons every time he gets a kill. That's what kind of makes it unique. It's kind of like one of those uh, crazy DNA bombs that you see that people go for and they end up getting them and it's just awesome to watch stuff like this actually end up working out. The one that's going up later on tonight, you guys will be seeing that. That gameplay is just simply absurd. Not to discredit this one, but the next gameplay is just as crazy, if not better. It is nuts. The stuff that we sent got sent in this week is awesome. And I figure we're going to go with this like gimmick style week uh, here on DNA Saturday where everything's just kind of crazy. Right there was the halftime. Now we're going back here towards uh, the second half. And we're actually going to be continuing running around and getting kills and swapping weapons after every one of those kills. I'm hoping, of course, we can actually get away from dying right there. When I was watching the gameplay initially, I'm like, he probably should have died right there. That guy must had some really bad aim. This guy goes invisible on him. He ends up spraying him down regardless. The classes we're using, what Mr. Swoosh used actually to go ahead and get this particular DNA bomb. So basically he's using two different guns. He's using an AK-12, a naked AK-12 in that there's really no variant to it. As well as his secondary weapon is the ASM-1, but it's actually the speakeasy variation of the ASM-1, arguably the best variation of that weapon. For the AK-12, we're actually using a red dot sight grip and extended mag, and for the speakeasy, we're using nothing aside from the extended mag that comes pre-equipped with it that doesn't actually cost a single point on your pick 13. That's one of the reasons the speakeasy is so great. You basically get a free attachment in the extended mag, which is definitely awesome. For perks, we're using low profile, and then we got peripherals. And here's the kicker, right? This is the part that doesn't make sense to me. Low profile, pretty standard perk. You see it all the time on DNA Saturday. You see it all the time. In my videos, chances are any other person you watch uh, Call of Duty gameplay from Advanced Warfare, usually you see people running low profile, right? Very standard perk. Peripherals, it's not a necessary perk. It's more of a cosmetic perk. It's a perk that a lot of people like to run just because it can sometimes be helpful in terms of making the main map a bit bigger. It's one of those perks you can kind of take or leave it. It's not really going to affect you too much. But what he's using in perk 3 really doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. So he's using Hardline and Scavenger. So Hardline's going to make it so every two assists I believe, uh, count as a kill towards his DNA bomb, as well as it's going to allow him to acquire his DNA bomb one kill faster. And he's also using Scavenger that we obviously know what Scavenger's for, right? You'd be able to pick up ammo from it. He's not using either of the perks that I consider this game to be, and it, I consider these perks to be mandatory, right? I've always considered Toughness as well as Blast Suppressor to be two mandatory perks when playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You need to have, for, for me, I have both on all, all, all my classes, right? And then other people, like, like, they sometimes look like Toughness and Scavenger toughness and hardline stuff like that or maybe blast suppressor and scavenger blast suppressor and hardline something like that right but i've never actually got a submission for dna saturday where the person was not using either one of those perks it's definitely kind of weird to see that kind of thing happen it's definitely kind of weird the rest of the gameplay here is actually going to be pretty short i wish i could have like, been like all right so this was like the crazy strategy we're using for this particular episode of dna saturday but there really wasn't much of a strategy it was move around and shoot the people that are showing up on the map that's really what it kind of comes down to i said in recent videos i said in past videos I've just said it in general since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has come out. Since the fact that the UAV actually has the ability to have a support put on it, and the fact that you can upgrade your UAV to a point where it's kind of like an orbital VSAT or a Blackbird, whichever one you prefer. The fact that you can upgrade your UAV to do some crazy stuff, and then you can make it a support, so no matter what you're going to end up getting that, if you end up playing Advanced Warfare with a few friends or just with people in general, you're going to find that a lot of people are going to have these Blackbird-style kill streaks up a lot of the time. And when and what, when you get into lobbies like this, where you get into lobbies where uh, the opposing team isn't running uh, as much low profile as your typical lobby, you're going to end up having a ton of success. You'll see throughout the entirety of the gameplay, and you haven't seen throughout the entirety of the game gameplay people are just lighting up on the map all the time which is sometimes nice and sometimes bad for me it's nice to be able to see people on the mini map the way he's seeing them right now a bad a bad thing about that like a downside to that is that i kind of get spoiled by it and i need to start playing a game of like chase the red arrows and when you do that you're going to run into those people that are using low profile and those people using low profile are going to dominate you and you're going to get very mad you're like why, is, why why was he there why was he there it made no sense i was, I was just playing a game of chase the chase the red doritos running around the map you know and then you end up getting 
shot by guys using low profile. It's super annoying when that happens. So don't pay too much attention to the map, but at the same time, you got to pay a little bit of attention to it. But uh, back there, he picked up the DNA bomb. He actually ended up calling in. Yeah, that was a pretty fast overall DNA bomb, swapping weapons between the AK-12 and the ASM-1 between every kill. And I thought that was definitely pretty awesome. Pretty unique overall gameplay. I think you guys hopefully all enjoyed it as well. This week's episodes of DNA Saturday are going to be very, very unique. Uh, this was the first one. The second one that's going up uh, later on today is definitely going to be pretty awesome. But there we go. We see the final score. 58 kills and 4 deaths. We also had 6 captures and defend on there. Overall, actually having over 8,000 score as well, which is definitely pretty crazy. So great overall gameplay to you, Mr. Swoosh. I salute you for submitting such an awesome gameplay. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of DNA Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the deserves. And if you guys would like to submit your DNA bombs for next week's episode of DNA Saturday, watch the video that's on your screen right now. That video is so super helpful. That video will tell you everything you need to know about submitting yourself for DNA Saturday. Specific rules I want you to follow as well as helpful tips as to specific things while I'm going through all the different DNA bombs every single week. There's special things I'm looking for just in the titles of your messages or just in the, in the timestamps and just what I want to see in your gameplays in general. Watch that video if you have any intention of ever submitting stuff for DNA Saturday. It will definitely help you out quite a bit. If you guys like to go ahead and check out Mr. Swoosh, like I said, returning guest so you know he's a good player. Damn good player. He was last featured uh, back in Camp Strike Saturday but he's definitely a very very good player. His YouTube channel is actually pretty funny. It's uh, it's called It's Me Again or It's Me Again. It's, it's confusing. He's never actually elaborated to me even though we've asked in the videos he's been featured in he's never elaborated as to what his youtube channel means it could be i it's either it's smegian or it's me again with two s's or in it misspelled the again who knows it's a really weird channel name and he's never actually went ahead and elaborate as to what it actually meant he uploads really good gameplay that's really kind of a draw to his channel he doesn't really do commentary on a whole lot of things although he's starting to do commentary i remember back during uh, call of duty ghost when he was being featured on episodes of chem strike saturday he would upload and submit like these crazy chem strikes like using very underused guns or doing something crazy unique like switching uh, weapons on every kill or doing something like that right he would submit this crazy cool gameplay and stuff but he never actually did commentary on any of the videos over on his channel I have those by checking out his channel today that he has actually been doing commentary on his videos as of late like with advanced warfare coming out he's starting to do commentary on his stuff and he's still keeping up with the trend of having like ridiculously cool gameplay like he's got different kinds of DNA bombs with the EPM3 and the Bulldog and the EM1 just a bunch of really cool underused guns you guys know I've been preaching uh, the use of these underused guns on my YouTube channel here for weeks now it's like I just I love it when people do that and I think it's boring if you're running around with only like the same couple of guns everyone else is running around with try out some new stuff do so have some fun with it right and it can be super rewarding if you can do well with it and he's, he's doing that over on his YouTube channel he's getting DNA bombs with these crazy guns like I'm just happy getting a good game with the EM1 he's dropping DNA bombs with it so he's definitely a good channel if you guys want to go ahead and check him out once again that is youtube.com slash it's smegian it's me again I, I don't know how to pronounce his channel he never he never elaborates we have no idea we have no idea but go ahead and check him out if you guys want to I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of DNA Saturday and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.